Hello, Biome artists. Today we are going to be creating art inspired by an artist named Faith Ringgold. This is a two week project, so make sure you take your time and put your artwork somewhere safe between week one and week two. So Faith Ringgold is an African-American artist who uses quilting and painting together to share memories and stories. You can see she sews quilts and then she paints a picture in the middle of them. So for anyone who doesn't know what a quilt is, a quilt is when you sew together different pieces of cloth and fabric, either sewing them by hand or using a sewing machine. And you might have seen these used as blankets before, but Faith Ringgold actually paints right on them. Here's some examples of Faith Ringgold's story quilt, where she sews the quilts around the edge and then she paints a picture in the middle. Her paintings almost always have people in them, and they're people that are either important to her or they're important throughout history. After Faith Ringgold went to college, she went to Europe to study art. She studied the work of famous artists throughout history, and she noticed that there were almost no artists of color represented. Almost all of the artwork and almost all of the artists were kind of old white men. She wanted to change that. Faith Ringgold began quilting as part of her artwork to represent the tradition of African-American quilt making. It has been passed down through the generations of women in her family. Oftentimes, the fabric that she used in her quilt was some sort of special fabric from a person in her family or a time in her life. Also, if you look closely at her pictures, usually the people in her paintings are people from memories or important people throughout her life or throughout history. She wanted to be a strong woman, and she didn't want to have to ask her husband for help carrying her artwork. That ain't right. With a quilt, she could easily roll it up and take it anywhere all by herself. In this quilt, Faith Ringgold painted herself with important African-American women from history. Van Gogh is standing to the right, and he offers sunflowers as a sign of respect and appreciation to these legendary women. This quilt called Le Café des Artistes, and it shows many artists and writers throughout history all dining together. I think Faith Ringgold really wanted the world to come together, much like Martin Luther King, so that we could all appreciate and respect one another. Now I'm going to read you a story written and illustrated by Faith Ringgold. In this story, she uses her imagination, and she imagines that she is flying high above the city. She calls the book Tar Beach, but really she's not on the beach at all. She's laying on the rooftop of her apartment building where she grew up. I will always remember when the stars fell down around me and lifted me up above the George Washington Bridge. I could see our tiny rooftop with mommy and daddy and Mr. and Mrs. Honey, our next door neighbors, still playing cards as if nothing was going on and Bibi, my baby brother, lying real still on the mattress, just like I told him to, his eyes like huge floodlights tracking me through the sky. Sleeping on Tar Beach was magical, lying on the roof in the night with stars and skyscrapers all around me made me feel rich, like I owned all I could see. The bridge was my most prized possession. Daddy said that the George Washington Bridge is the longest and most beautiful bridge in the world, and that it was opened in 1931 on the very day I was born. Daddy worked on that bridge, hoisting cables. Since then, I've wanted that bridge to be mine. Now I have claimed it. All I had to do was fly over it for it to be mine forever. I can wear it like a giant diamond necklace, or just fly above it and marvel at its sparkling beauty. I can fly, yes, fly. Me, Cassie Louise Lightfoot, only eight years old and in the third grade, and I can fly. That means I am free to go wherever I want for the rest of my life. Daddy took me to see the new union building he is working on. He can walk on steel girders high up in the sky and not fall. They call him the cat. And mommy can laugh and sleep late like Mrs. Honey. And we can have ice cream every night for dessert. Next, I'm going to fly over the ice cream factory just to make sure we do. Tonight, we're going up to Tar Beach. 
Mommy is toasting peanuts and frying chicken, and Daddy will bring home a watermelon. Mr. and Mrs. Honey will bring their old green card table. And then the stars will fall around me, and I will fly to the Union Building. I'll take BB with me. He has threatened to tell Mommy and Daddy if I leave him behind. I have told him it's very easy. Anyone can fly. All you need is somewhere to go that you can't get to any other way. The next thing you know, you're flying among the stars. In that book, Faith Ringgold told the story of a little girl who was using her imagination to dream that she could fly and she could do anything. For this project, we are going to be creating story quilts inspired by Faith Ringgold. You are going to draw a picture of a story or a memory in the center and then surround it with little quilt squares that you can cut from pieces of wrapping paper, construction paper, magazines, or newspapers. On week one of this project, you can draw a one inch border with a ruler around the outside edge of your paper. Then in the center square, draw a memory or a story. You can have it be something real that happened to you in your life, or it can be a make-believe story or a fantasy that you have. On week two, you can cut and glue a quilted border by sticking squares of paper around the outside edge. For that part, you can use construction paper, wrapping paper, magazines, newspapers, whatever you want. Remember, this is a two-week project, so take your time on your drawing and your cutting and gluing. And when you're done, upload your picture onto Padlet. Have fun. I can't wait to see what you create.